You've tuned in to the Top 10 Gardener with garden expert, Ken Lane. Join him daily as he answers timely garden questions that are sure to make a difference in your gardens. Now welcome your host, Ken Lane. And we are back with Lisa Waters Lane in the studio. She comes each week and we just give her the airwaves for 10 minutes straight. <laughs> Keep on talking. Make sure there's no lags, no voids, no... Uh, but anyway, Lisa comes in to share her whole different perspective. Mm -hmm. Let me help you out with that. There we go. Michael Thank you. will give you grief. There it wants go. to sag down. Well, we don't want saggy microphones. <laughs> kind of like we don't want saggy plants. We don't want saggy microphones. <laughs> I thought you were going to go somewhere <laughs> else. <laughs> Where? What are you talking about? I'll let it go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy holidays, everyone. Nice. Uh, to our Jewish friends, uh, blessed Hanukkah. Everyone else, Merry Christmas. It is uh, winter. Solstice yes. coming up. It's like the peak of the holidays. Lots is it the of parties. 21st? Is yeah. it always on the 21st? Yes, yeah, always. Kind of spring always lands on the 20th, 22nd, 21st. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Summer's always, I think, June 22nd, 23rd. Somewhere in there. Uh, where it falls always September 23rd, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> you but if in doubt, Amazon. When and is Amazon. Chris, when is, when is, uh, or uh, Alexa. Alexa, I'm sorry. Alexa, when is, well, it shows you how good I am with AI or talking smart homes. <laughs> Not very, honey. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> What do you got before I embarrass myself? <laughs> okay. Well, this week we have unloaded, I don't know how many pallets of pottery. Oh, yeah. So we got our first load of our new spring pottery in. Yeah, that's exciting. Even though it's winter, we have spring pottery. Got a front load. So uh, just the guy, they've been unpacking it. Kinsey, the guys, Eric, Chris, just unloading it. They wrap it. So, I mean, it's just like intense intense so it didn't break <laughs> yeah. oh i know you want it that way but it takes a while to undo it so they've been working on that uh it's really fun to see new colors new styles um it's just, yeah, just fun. it is style isn't it mm -hmm. pottery this is 2024 it's the it's the pottery for this spring um and the styles change each year the mm -hmm. color tones will be different the textures will be different. And the patterns, the, the layering of colors mm -hmm. will be different. So you'll see. And if you're, I mean, I came in, I purposely stayed away because I unloaded the truck. It kills. I'm an old man. <laughs> I don't want to do that. It's hard. That's for young people. Mm -hmm. I came out like half the parking lot is like pottery, pottery. everywhere. Yeah. I went, oh, sure glad I got that one. Missed that one. <laughs> well done team, by the way. Yes, hey, if you're listening, tuned excellent. in. You guys are awesome. You're working it. Mm -hmm. And I would say if you're looking to buy sets, so, you know, three different sizes, four different yeah. sizes in the same style, same color. Now is the best oh, yeah. time to do that because what will happen is we get more into the season. People will pick one or two or they want two big pots and, you know, then you don't have the big pot to complete your set. So now is a really good time. If you like the sets of pottery, it's a great time to be looking for that. If, you know, I get in trouble, uh, towards the peak of spring so mother's day post mother's day to july 4th it's still crazy busy at the garden center mm -hmm. and so by then the pottery is starting to be it's hard to restock you have to order this stuff by semi load mm -hmm. so you're getting hundreds upon hundreds of pots and then you can't go and get more right. until you can fill that semi up or container mm -hmm. to bring it over so People are going, I want two matching. I want them identical, right. same color, same size on either side of my door. I went, well, we don't have it. Mm -hmm. Our time was back last winter and early spring, right. not post, post spring, summer. That's not mm -hmm. your time. Your peak time mm -hmm. is now. And, and I think uh, people get confused. They're thinking that uh, pottery is not as popular here as it is other places. It's more so because anytime you try to dig a hole here, <laughs> it's impossible. So people transition to containers right. quite often because it's so easy mm -hmm. to grow in them. Definitely. That was one of my points. Oh, and sorry. To have pottery. Right no, it's excellent because it is a challenge to dig a hole here. Um, and so putting it in a container, you can grow so many things in containers. Why not? It's a lot easier than trying to dig a hole in granite sometimes. <laughs> so yeah. definitely worth it. Uh, a few other reasons I had listed to bring pottery into the yard was is it brings color to your house oh, yeah. and and your yard especially this time of year you look out and you're like oh 
lot no of things. Flowers. They've got dormant. They're, they're green. There's no green, flowers. but there's not a lot of color. So really nice to have some pottery out there that brings in that color, it gives you something to look at besides dormant plants. Some of these pots, they're pieces of art. Mm -hmm. I mean, truly, they're so beautiful. You, you almost don't want to plant in them because they're, in fact, some of them we don't plant at our house and <laughs> urns and stuff. We just have them as pretty, yeah. pretty pots. Or we right. might set a, 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 a cache bowl on top of it, mm -hmm. but not plant in it just because it's so pretty. I don't, wanna, right. I don't know what we're thinking. We own a garden center and get another one. It's like, but no, yeah, it works. Yep. <laughs> the other reason is you can use pottery to define a space. So if you're doing outdoor rooms, um, patios, seating, you can use that pottery to define your space, to yeah. kind of use it around the perimeters. Uh, it just really helps. If you have a really big space, it narrows it down. So you just, yeah. it doesn't feel so open and out there. We use ours to, we didn't want, we have this huge patio. It's the entire length of the house. It's mm -hmm. big. Uh, it's got, it's got fire pits and hot tubs and barbecues and, um, and, and so it's, it's long, but we didn't want a railing up there because, but there's, a, there's a grade. So it's like the patio <laughs> and then there's like a seven foot drop. We yes. didn't want grandkids hurling themselves <laughs> over. And so we put pottery and some mm -hmm. decorative furniture up and mm -hmm. some plants. And now it's beautiful and safe. We use, we're growing roses and all mm -hmm. kinds of big things oh, out yeah. there, but they're stunning. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. So you can define areas with it. Also good for entryways. Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of these big homes have these ginormous entryways yeah. now, which is, is, they're spectacular. They're beautiful, but they're almost too big, too overwhelming. Yeah. Um, and getting a selection of pottery in there just kind of makes it more warm as you walk into yeah. the home. That's our niche. Our niche, because no one's, no one, you can't go down to Walmart and buy a nice, big pot for a million dollar house. It's just, they're not they're big enough and plastic. Mm -hmm. It just ain't going to do it. It's yeah. got to be beautiful mm -hmm. and it has to be to scale. And then you, then you plant in it. So mm -hmm. big resort size or big, large home size mm -hmm. pots. It's kind of a strong point for us. And then everything right. down below, of course, house plants, that kind of stuff. Right. I was going to say, we have a really nice selection of yeah. indoor uh, house plant pottery, <laughs> but sometimes it can be a little, you know, a little weird in some of the box stores, uh, but we have really rich colors, the blues, the grays, the blacks, um, some really nice kind of, um, I always call them the 70s colors <laughs> that in. are coming yeah, back. 70s, early yeah, 80s, that's yeah. in. It's definitely coming back and they, they are actually very well done, beautiful colors yeah. uh, and so nicely to put your house plants in. It just ups the level of your If indoor. you have a new home, you don't want to run down and get that leftover pottery from the big orange or blue box. Mm -hmm. What you want, you want to go down to where the interior designers are shopping for their pottery for their clients. And that's at Waters Garden Center because they mm -hmm. know when the cycles are and the styles and the colors and they're trying to match tones and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And now I can't believe you got the best interior selection mm -hmm. I've ever seen. It's like, but it's house really plants good. are big. Mm -hmm. New homes are in. So it goes right. for apartments. It goes for houses. It's just, yeah. It's, it's it goes in any any place you live. And you and Kinsey actually went and picked out yeah. this pottery. So it wasn't like picking a picture out of a magazine. You actually yeah. go see the colors because you know how it is. Like when you buy a dress and you're thinking, oh, I gotta love that color, and then you get it and you're like, that's not the color it was in the yeah, magazine. Right. So you guys actually went and looked at the pottery, yeah. felt it, touched it, um, size, the size. thickness, the weight. Mm -hmm. Was there value there? Mm -hmm. And we're not shopping by, you know, we need the cheapest one. We're looking right. for, I've never seen that. Oh my gosh, they're going to love this. I can't believe Prescott's going to have this. If we get excited and giddy about it, we figure our customers will too. Mm -hmm. And so we're going for styles right. and quality. And then you shop price. So it's, so it's, it's mm -hmm. inverted. So we're going for that. But you got to have the right price too. But right. Uh, so many times a box source, it's only about price and get what's left over. If we're done picking out of the out of the, uh, um, the warehouse, what's left over, it goes down to the <laughs> wherever yeah. those things right. go. <laughs> so it's a good time to look at pottery. You can still plant. If you get yeah. a nice pot for outside, you want to put a nice evergreen in there. Yeah. You can certainly do that. The pot will take it. The plant will take it. Yeah. Um, make your home pretty for the holidays, you bet. Yeah, you should mention to folks, uh, there are different grades of, of pottery. Mm -hmm. And so we are only specializing the ones you can garden in outdoors with your pots. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a, it's got to be a thicker and heavier and higher kiln. It's got to have a 
hire fired. Mm-hmm. So anyway, we are out of time. Thank you, Lisa, yeah. on the next year's pottery. Appreciate yeah. that. Ken and Lisa Lane, the Mountain Gardeners. Be right back after this. Look, if your wife, mom, or dad wants an ugly sweater for Christmas, get them a sweater, not some piece of plastic. But if someone you truly care about loves their garden, a gift card to Waters makes perfect sense. Next spring, she can pick exactly what she was hoping. We all know it's not the same as a huge flower basket or fragrant rose, but hey, it's winter. Gardeners understand. Waters online gift cards are found at top10plants.com or at Waters Garden Center in Prescott. You're listening to garden expert Ken Lane, owner of Waters Garden Center in Prescott. Look for more tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts through Ken's website. Additional shows of this podcast, read his weekly garden column, or follow him on Facebook, Instagram, at watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com.